Hello everybody and welcome back to Armacrog. Of course this is Fixer. We left off with this puzzle. We're turning these dials. We'll change the direction that the the vehicle moves in. And this looks like the, the actual final puzzle symbols. So there, it's just trial and error basically. And the difficulty of the puzzle, and I don't like this, the difficulty of the puzzle is that you have to walk all the way back and forth to see if your um, symbols are correct. And that's it. That's that's the difficulty, and I, I don't like that at all. I'd rather figure out the symbols some other way. But, yep, there we go. These symbols here... I don't know why they're here, because that's just to go back here, and that's how it started. So I don't understand the point of those symbols. Is it, 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 maybe it's just to remind you what it was before? I don't know. Well, there's the power. And I forgot to set my timer for this episode. Let's plug that in. Now we get to turn it on. Do we have to turn it on upstairs? I have no idea what he's saying. Well, I've got power. Okay, I'm gonna write these symbols down. Alright, so we've got that Tetris block there. And then we got that Tetris block there. Gotcha. Should I just leave it like that? I mean, these these three are the these four are the same. It's just these little Tetris blocks are different. I'm gonna leave this. Well, let's. All right, it doesn't do anything anyway. All right, I guess let's go back upstairs. Now that the power is going through here, we should be able to get through the door upstairs. I hope. Perhaps, maybe. Come on! These stupid little things block me. There we go. Alright, yep, see, we got power over here. You didn't hear the, the vehicle sound over there. There's a lot of audio issues with this game. Bam! Another octopus! Tickle him! Oh! You have made it far. Mother and father must be pleased with your courage and honor. Oh, it's translated! Yet, all is for naught without saving the child. Vognot has her, and is building a machine to extract her power. A process she will never survive. Take this. It's the final piece you will need. Take this. Okay, thank you, I guess. Um, alright, there's the... Okay, that's the same octopus, though. There's the switch thing. Alright, let's hop on there and go down. Hop on, Tommy! Let's go! I wonder if I can go back to the other octopuses. Octopi? Octopodes? And get, um... Uh-oh! He's dead. This is a door just like the entrance to the place. I wonder if it's the exit. Alright. I am, uh... I'm gonna draw these symbols again. They could be important. So we got the ray of light in the bottom left. We have the, the Russian flag up there. And then we have somebody's squishy face. 
And then we have a dot. I don't know the significance of this. Oh! Please, stop him. Bognod was just through here. Oh, okay. I'm going. I'm running, I'm sorry, speed walking as fast as I can. And there's the spiral with the crown. Oh, there's the baby. Don't tell me this is the end of the game. Can I grab... P! Not so fast, brother of mine! Vagna, come on, let's be reasonable. You've got to let me get her out of that thing. Oh no, I need her power. It's wasted on her anyhow. I'll put it to real use. Vagna, don't! Oh! Sorry. Too late. Hmm? What happened? What the? That's what I said. Well, that was easy. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. Ah! Machine. Destroy this fedora. Uh oh. Don't worry. I've got you. <laughs> and I've got you. <gasps> We're out of here. Okay. Well, that was convenient. Do, do I put the wee baby? Uh oh, I got a, another emerald. Ooh, that's a bigger one. Oh, it's it's inside me. I forgot about this puzzle. Can I access this thing now? Oh, that's what that's for. Bam. Okay. Let's see here. Um. Oh boy. What order did that go in? That went in it. Uh. Can I change these? No. I don't know what. Nope, that's not what I want. Um, I don't know these symbols. This is the symbol that was used in the first area. So I don't know if I'm supposed to put... Oh, there's symbols inside the face that I can use. This this symbol was... This is the sickle. It was second. Okay. Maybe that's what I need to do. And the ray of sunshine goes first. And then we need the little smiley thing. Which is not that. And a dot. We need that and a dot. There's the dot. I don't know if that's right though. I don't I don't see the smiley face thing. Doesn't look like any of these. No. Why is this? There we go. I don't think it's that. Hmm. Maybe the symbol I'm looking for is tied to each of the... I see. I think I know what it wants me to do. All right, let's go, let's go back to the octopus. I think each octopus gives me a symbol. And I should write that down, but because I didn't, 
it wants me to go back and do it, and that way I can see all the octopuses, octopodes, octopi, in um, in English. So, let's do that. Will it not let me? He's shining. I didn't want to go down, by the way. This is open. All right, let's get down. And octopodes. Ah, uh, welcome. I must tell you, in service to Father, my Octavator Kin and I have seen much within these grand walls. Most of it glorious, yet some tragic as well. It is the planet Spiro Five where you now find yourself, entombed in the fortress Armacrog, created by Father as one home for science magic, goodwill, and servitude. In Armacrog, we enjoyed a peaceful existence, safe from the mongrels, wandering Galatsor, and other dangers indigenous to Spiro Five. Then, one day, without warning, Armacrog fell under attack by a fierce warrior who, while lacking ultimate power, possessed intelligence sufficient to find a weakness in Armacrog and breach its defenses. Father and mother, peaceful as they were, knew this day might come. This interloper, a lost soul disfigured by ego and envy, sought the power of Armacrog for his own gain, and saw mother as the key to this power. Father put forth a brave defense, but alas, was struck down by his foe. Struck down, but his essence lives on here in Armacrog. Okay, so there were lots of symbols in that one. I don't know if I could actually look through that and say that symbol belongs to that octopus. I, I can't. Oh, and it's been reset. Because I, I saw this one in there. I saw... Did that change? No, it's just an illusion. Saw this one. I saw this one. Saw this guy. I wonder, um, what were the the names of those things? I thought I wrote that down. Honor, Hope, Server 2, and... Oops, I messed up, because I wrote Honor down twice. Damn it, Jim. And I, I didn't realize this before, but this is the, the old man right here. That's his... I don't know if it's his hair or his mustache, and those are his eyes. I don't know. All right, let let us go. Let us go back. Oh my gosh! I hope I don't have to go. I hope it doesn't take too long to retrace my steps. Um, let's pull that lever. And see, now i got to do a lot of backtracking. And I don't like it when a, a game uses backtracking as filler. Whee! Oh, God bless America. That's not the way I wanted to go. And why is Beak Beak yelling we when he's obviously not in the cart with me? Sigh. That's a shame. And we need to go out and then in. Remember this one taking... Yeah, it gets caught up right there. There we go. Alright, let's head on out. She's got a purple mouth. I wonder if the others have a different color mouth. I wonder if that's going to mean anything. Probably not. Zooming right along. Alright, let's go see what the octopus has to say. 
See, and, and I bet you it's tied to that right there. My Octavator sibling told you of the attack upon Spiro 5, I presume. Allow me to continue. Our fortress had been breached, but Father was prepared. Designed with an armor croc was a hidden defense mechanism Father added to ensure the safety of his planet, his people, his family. The intruder had attacked, believing it was Mother who was key to the power he desired. But she knew the truth. The power resides in their infant daughter, Peel. Hiding P from sight, Mother hurried to initiate Father's plan, but was interrupted just as she began the activation procedure. The intruder, called Vognat, saw Mother's empty shell and realized his mistake. She did not hold the power after all. There must be another. The child. That's a Star Wars reference. All right. So I'm pretty convinced that the the Soviet symbol thingy is uh, tied to this this right there, and this guy's got purple lips too. But it's tied to that, I think. But there's still, again, there were a couple other symbols in there that weren't in the first one. So it's hard to say. Nope, that's the gun. Where do I... I want to go this way, I think. No, I want to go down? I don't remember. I think I want to go this way. No, I don't want to pull the lever. I want to go out the door. Thank you. There we go. Onward! With my imaginary friend Beak Beak. What's up here? Did I ever go up here? Am I missing something here? I feel like I am. I feel like that's missing something. What's up this way? Well, that's the solution to this puzzle. Never mind. I feel like I'm missing something over there, though, with that, that wheel with the flames on it. I might have to go back to that. I don't remember what's up here, either. What is up here? Oh, these guys. Yeah, that doesn't tell me anything. Okay. See, this doesn't have a symbol on it. Oh, it does have this. Maybe, um... Maybe that means something. Did it have one of those? The little whatever that is. Looks like a, a maybe a shell or a leaf. I don't know. We'll tie that symbol or whatever it's called to this octopus, which is it's that one. So maybe we go like that, or maybe let's do this. Okay, I think it about does it for today. It uh, feels like we're getting near the end, but uh, maybe next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.